Hey, Tiny T here, and I'm making a second quail cage. This one's just a little bit smaller pen. Uh, it's for a quail. I got this. Got that wry neck. Uh, the other one's he's got kind of a crooked neck, and he's uh, getting picked on by the other one pretty bad. And so we're kind of worried about him. And we're going to isolate him and hopefully get him strong enough to where he can get better and you know, on his own. So anyway, we're going to see what happens. But I'm building it around the size of this tray, which will be my pan that. I put underneath the clean out with so anyway I'm getting it ready I'm gonna mark off and go by the measurements on this old uh, serving tray that I have so anyway we'll see how it goes and maybe I'll have a new one here that people might want to build all right back here and I made just a square using two by twos these are two by fours I cut in half and I made a, just a two by two frame this will be the wall of one and I'm gonna make another one of these just the same size and then I'll connect those together with two by twos across. So that's my idea. Then I'm going to wrap uh, that wire around it and put two sides on it. Put a door in and that'll be my small quail cage for one quail. Okay, I got the two sides up here. And what I'm going to do is these two, two squares that I made out of two by twos. I'm going to connect here with another two by two going across. I'm going to put four of those, one for each corner and just screw those in on the ends here and then put my wire around it so we'll see how that goes here I'll get these four where I got my pieces cut here and I'll screw those in next and I'm using two inch screws probably two and a quarter might have been better but uh, two inches is what I had laying around so they seem to be holding holding all right so anyway we'll see how it goes hey tiny T here and I got my frame made you can see I got the two sides and I connect them and I got my wire cut now. I've, I measured around it and I cut the length off for the length of it here. And I also cut for the side to get it the right width also. So uh, it wraps around does uh, four of those sides and I'll have cut out pieces for uh, both the other sides of it on, on both ends. So anyway, I get that wrapped and attached. I ain't sure if I, I'll probably use staples maybe for that. I think I got a staple gun, so I'll probably just staple that on and, and that should hold for just one quail. I don't think there's any, be any problem with that. So. Anyway, let me go on and get it stapled on. Hey, Tiny T here. I got my wire all around. I've been stapling it on with my DeWalt staple gun here, which I'm real happy with. It seemed to work uh, as well as any of them that I've ever used, maybe a little bit better. Got to get another piece. Of, piece I had left over wasn't quite enough, so I'm going to get another piece from the other room I cut off and something else, and I'll get another piece cut out, and I'll make my door on this one just like I did on the other ones. T here and I got the cage finished with the door down there it's upside down right now the reason I got it upside down is I'm gonna put a couple rails here across the bottom like that one on either side and what that's gonna do is give me enough height below the bottom of that in order to slide a tray underneath and that's the clean out tray so the droppings will go into that so think of that being upside down a couple just like runners on there to raise it up a little bit enough for the tray to go under there and that'll be my drip pan. So that's my cage and I'll show you the finished thing once I get it set up here. Hey Tiny T here and I want to show you the finished product of the quail cage here for a single quail that I'm doing. I guess we put more than one in here if I wanted to but we got one here that's got the rye neck and having trouble keeping his balance. You can see I got the tray rails there that hold up and we get the tray, uh, the tray under there to clean up and take out and wash off and uh, got the water and food in there and he seems to have a good appetite uh, he was having trouble here in this other one with the uh, where the food was he was couldn't get his balance and the other ones are kind of mean to him they just trampled all over him and picked on him and stuff so you can see here he's lost his balance got upside down a little bit and i'm going to help him he can probably ride himself but uh, i'll help him so he gets up and doesn't have to struggle quite as much so anyway that's it hopefully we'll see if he makes it we're giving him a chance here so anyway Nancy Prepper signing out. Y'all have a good day.